Okay, so in your box you will um, find a dark brown, light brown, white and black um, pieces of modelling paste. You'll find a full length kebab skewer and a cocktail stick. On top of that you will need a small receptacle with some water in, not a lot, just a couple of teaspoons. And you'll need a sharp knife of some shape or form. Now it's easier to work with a slightly smaller one like a kitchen knife, potato peeling knife. Um, you may also require a pair of kitchen scissors um, later on to cut the kebab skewer to length. But they are quite easy to snap, but I'll show you that when we get to it. So, the other thing that's useful to have with you is a Ziploc bag or a, a mar empty margarine tub with a lid, something that we can put the ice in that we're not working with into. Okay, so I'm going to pop these in there. And I'm going to show you how to begin. So unwrap your brown icing. Now this will have come through the post to you, so it's potentially quite hard and quite cold. So just take it out of its cling film, and it is quite solid. So we're just going to soften this up again and make it all elastic and lovely. Now you can do this in your hands. I'm going to do it in my hands to stop the camera wobbling. Okay. So just keep working it until it becomes slightly tacky, but pliable and warm and smooth. So there you go, it's just starting to stick to my fingers, but we want it all soft. So just keep going for a second or two and then start to roll it into a sausage. Okay, when there's no perfection required for this, this is literally just the process of cutting the icing into the right quantities. So have a sausage, make sure your ends are as flat as possible, make sure it's sort of sort of even. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? This is a caricature bear or comic bear. This is not a serious replica of a teddy bear. Um, it's meant to be a bit of fun and it's something that you and the kids can do. So what we then want to do is divide this piece of icing into three. Okay, and you can do this for any animal. With the same principle so you have one piece for a head one piece for a body and then what we're going to do is we're going to divide the final piece into four now that gives you two legs so head body back legs and then if you had a creature that doesn't have any extra appendages like ears tail whatever you can leave these two this size but that does mean they'll be exactly the same size as the back legs or the bottom legs which I don't particularly want for the bear so I'm going to put one of these pieces to one side and I'm going to cut this piece in two to give me my arms okay so the first part that we're going to be working on is the body so I'm going to pop the excess icing for the minute into my ziplock oh no that's my body into my Ziploc bag because it's quite warm today and it is drying out quite quickly. Just squish the air out and zip it shut. Okay, nice and easy. So, pick your body up, give it a good squeeze, get it nice and soft. Okay, that's lovely. Then we're going to put both palms together and we're going to move them in circles over each other to create a nice smooth ball okay and we're going to apply a bit of pressure to do this and eventually the heat of your hands will smooth the surface of the icing out and you'll end up without cracks and dents and dimples okay there we go we're getting there just keep going it can take a few minutes but You've got all the time in the world to do this because we've sealed the other icing away. Now, if you find that there's an area that has some marks on that you're not keen to show anybody, just make sure that's the back. OK, so once we have a nice smooth ball, what we're actually going to do is move in that direction, one hand over the other to create a little bit of a sausage on him. Only a little bit. OK. So more like a potato. I would say then I'm literally going to pick which end is his bottom and his head end 
and I'm just going to use the base of this palm just to narrow, keep it straight, that top end slightly, pear sort of shape you're looking for. Now with this one I don't want anything too pointy, so we now have a sort of pointy potato. So this is going to be where his head goes and this is his bottom. Okay, see that? Okay, so then stand him on his bottom, give him a little press down just to make sure that he goes flat at the bottom. That's your body. Now what I'll do at the beginning is just make a little hole in there like a belly button just to remind me that that's the front, okay? Just in case I turn it round and I get confused. So the next thing that we're going to do is his bottom leg. I'm going to find the two pieces that were his back legs. There we are. Zip your bag back up. Okay, just give these a little knead in your fingers just to soften them up. Doesn't take many minutes at all. And then we're going to roll another ball. Okay, once we have a nice smooth ball like that, we're going to move backwards and forwards across. Now, Teddy bears have beautiful chunky legs, so we're not going to go too thin. Okay, they're not massively long legs. They don't need to come out here. They're little stubby, fat, cute, chunky legs. So for me, that's enough. Now, I'm going to do this one as well at the minute so that I can get them sort of the same length. So we'll start into a ball. There we go. Nice and smooth backwards and forwards until we've got something similar size and shape as I say doesn't have to be exact there we go okay now to fit these onto our bear what we're actually going to do is squash one end pushing down and getting it nice and flat okay don't worry about the shape of it it's going to be behind your bear Okay, and then we're going to take a tiny touch of water and just make this flat piece tacky. So I'm going to take some of that water back off and then you'll feel the change in the icing. It becomes really quite sticky. Okay, if you can't feel the sticky, you've put too much on, just keep wiping until you get sticky. Now the other end, I'm actually just going to flatten and give a tiny little ankle indent too. Can you see that? It's a tiny little indent and we've gone nice and flat, just pinching gently, trying not to leave the fingerprints in it, nice and flat on the end. Okay, now we're going to take our leg for our bear and we're going to pop it on the side like that and then we're just going to smooth this piece all around the back. Okay, there we are, one teddy bear leg simple as that okay so we're going to take one end and we're going to flatten it and pull it slightly just to give us a nice lip and we're just going to make sure that the end of the foot is flat give him a tiny little indent by running it between our four fingers and then just flattening the end of the foot again very gently pinching between your finger and your thumb but not a lot of pressure at all. So can you see that's a nice flat ankled foot? Now obviously this one's going on this side, so we need to wet in here. Take off when you've got too much and feel for the tacky, okay? We're gonna pop this on exactly the same way on the other side, and we're just going to bring the flat piece around the back of the bear, smoothing very, very gently. We're not pushing. We're just moving the icing with a finger, a very gentle pressure. I'm trying not to push in on this side too. There we go. And I'm just going to square those off here just to give him a bit of shape. Okay, I'm going to bend my little legs in a little because I think that's cute. Okay, there we go. Now my fingers are a bit sticky, so just have a wet cloth, soapy dishcloth handy, nice clean one. Give your hands a good wipe, get rid of all that sticky and then make sure that you dry them well on a dry cloth or a piece of kitchen roll just to get that moisture off because otherwise you're just going to stick to him again. Okay, 
go. Now we are going to put his head support in and that's what the kebab skewer is for. Okay, so we're going to go to the centre of our little potato shape and instead of pushing right down, we're going to turn and push gently. We're going to spin the stick until we get to the bottom and it stops. Okay, now we want about a centimetre excess from our body for our head and that's just going to hold his head upright. Now if you did want, or somebody did want to eat the model, you just take the wooden stick out. Okay, now at this point, if you've got a particularly sharp, chunky pair of kitchen scissors, you can find a centimetre above, out there, and you can cut there, like that. Or I'm just going to use these because it's quicker for me. Now, when you cut it, you will get a feathery edge from your scissors because it's quite hard to cut. And you can either pop it in, work out where you want it, and then lift it out again and cut it, and then just brush some water on and pop it back in the same hole you made, okay? Try not to make another hole. Or, at that point there, you can actually put it in, and if you put your thumbs together, pull against it, it will snap very, very easily. But what you do need to do is just use kitchen scissors and get rid of all of those feathery ends because you don't want those in your bear if somebody's going to eat it. Okay, so there you go, nice and smooth again, no splinters. All right, but they are very easy to snap. So that's an easy way to do it if you don't think your scissors won't go through or if you're with kids and you're doing it and want to stay safe. So here we are, we have a support, two legs and a body. I'm going to move on to his arms. Now those are the two small pieces. Now obviously a teddy bear's arms are very similar shape to his legs. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. We've softened it up, we're rolling a ball and then we go backwards and forwards across to roll a sausage. Now these are going to be a little bit thinner than his legs because obviously they're unsupported so we don't want them the same way otherwise they'll just fall down so do one condition the paste again get it soft roll a ball roll backwards and forwards across the palms until you've got a sausage again so check they're sort of the same length perfect all right so this time we're going to press down on one end to create the paw like that so we have two they look a bit like fingers really don't they <laughs> with a fingernail in but that's going to be his paws the inside of his paws okay so they're going to go onto the body like that I'm just going to bend that one through as well now while they're off it's easier I'm just going to use my knife to just put a couple very gentle not pressing hard little lines into that paw can you see that on there and the same with the other one just two lines rest your knife and press slightly there you go oh there we go oh well never mind we all do it and like i said it doesn't have to be perfect it's your bear this one's my bear okay so we've got two paws so this is the back of our hand, so we're going to pinch the fat end again, just at the end, pinch it quite thin, like we did for the back of the leg, okay, and again with the other one, so you can see I've got my hand like this, and I'm just pinching at this end and making it quite thin, and this is the bit we're going to use to attach to the bear, so another drop of water onto that flat area we've made give it a little rub wait for the sticky now we're going to come right up onto our bear's neck here okay and if you could see that i'll show you with the other one as well and we're just going to let that arm rest down near his leg okay a little bit of water again Take some off if you've added too much. And as you do that, you'll feel it go sticky. So right up to the back of the neck, what would be a neck, and bring that 
down and round while smoothing the piece that's wet onto our body without pushing the body flat if we can. That's the trickiest bit. Don't apply so much pressure that you squash your body down. If you did, you just literally give it a little squeeze and straighten it back up. Okay, now I'm just going to do that because I don't know if you can see, but he looks quite nice with a bit of a flat tummy. Okay, and I'm actually now going to add a tummy piece to him. So I'm just going to move him over there. You can still see him. And now I'm going to unwrap the lighter brown. Certainly don't need all of it at this point. So we're just going to take out what we need at the minute. I can get it out. I wrap these things so well. Gosh, I really did wrap it well, didn't I? There we go. Make sure you've got all the pieces of cling film on. So I'm literally going to take that much and I'm going to put this back in our bag. There we go. I'm just going to work this because obviously this one hasn't been worked. Make it nice and soft and smooth. And I'm going to roll it into a ball again. There's lots of ball rolling in this video. Okay, and then I'm going to roll across to make a fat sausage. Okay, now some teddy bears have a lighter tummy than others do. These are the colours that I've given you. If you found that you didn't like this and you wanted it a bit darker, then the spare piece of brown we took when we halved the piece for the arms, you could add to this and, and change the colour as you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to use the heel of my palm and I'm just going to start pressing down to flatten out my... Now, obviously, it's a bit sticky. There we go. Now, you can use a little bit of icing sugar on your hands, but the more icing sugar that you use, the more you'll dry the paste. And it does come off, does leave a bit of tacky, but it's not a problem. If you have a rolling pin, small rolling pin, you don't need a bigger rolling pin for doing this, you could roll this now. But for the ease of what you've got in your kit and being able to do it with what you've got, I'm just rubbing to smooth that surface on that paste okay and then I'm going to peel him off don't worry about the marks underneath because that's going to be stuck against him so we're just literally going to smooth that out as we've peeled it off okay now you can cut this to size to shape whatever so I'm just going to trim the rough edges off for a minute I'm just going to use the knife against the surface and just push it flat against the icing just to tuck in all the feathery edges and make a nice rounded tummy shape okay so firstly I want to check if this is going to be long enough so just open his legs a little bit and his arms and go all the way to the base of the board with it and up and see if we come up to the neck now you can decide so we know it's the right length now you can decide what shape you want I'm actually going to bring mine in a little bit at the neck from the base okay and then I'm just going to flatten the neck off so the same as I did before just run the knife round to get a nice rounded edge lose all those feathery bits there we are so that's going to be my tummy of mine bear so I'm just going to turn it over and add a little bit of water same as we did for sticking legs and arms just make sure it's all tacky okay we're going to take this and we're going to put it at the base first. If you have to, just open his legs a little bit. Let's bring it back to the middle for you. Oops, stuck. So just open his legs a little bit and place it right against the bottom of his tummy. Move his arms as well. Ready? And then lift and press gently, not too hard. And then just go around the edges and pop him back on the edges give them a little smooth so it's a bit more rounded to the body making sure we got all tucked in at the bottom you can use your knife just to make sure you're tucked in and then you can reposition your legs and your arms again okay we're going to bring this up smooth that into the neck it's not a problem the head is going to sit on here now at this point 
it's worth mentioning that if you want him to look like a proper teddy bear, you can make um, stitch marks with your cocktail stick. So what you can actually do is just press the end of your cocktail stick into the icing, move it along and do it again and again and again and again and again and keep going because his arms are stitched all the way around. You see that? Ooh, let's see if we can see that. So there we go. We've got a little bit of a stitch mark. Now I'm going to do that on the top of his leg. That and on the side of his leg because they're generally stitched in little panels. Now, how deep you press, how much of the cocktail stick you press in will depend on the mark you get, but you can practice. And like I say, it's your model, so it can be done any how you like. Now, this is tricky to bring it back to front. So we'll just keep pressing just the very tip of the cocktail stick in, and it creates that little stitch look. Now, cake decorators have a little wheel with spikes on that they can do this with. But if the more equipment I'd added to your box, the more it costs. So we're keeping it simple and kiddies can do it and experiment with how the stitching goes and how it looks. Now, I think that just adds a little handmadeness to your teddy bear. Now, I'm going to do that right up the centre of his tummy too. So I'm just going to tilt him back or put him in my hand and cradle it. And I'm just going to do exactly the same thing in the centre of his tummy just pressing the very tip of the cocktail stick in a nice line all the way up his tummy and I'm going to pop his belly button back in okay there we are one little bear body not bear it's got bear bear as in teddy bear okay the next thing we're going to play with is his head so get your Last large piece of the brown icing and give it a good condition, a good knead, make it all soft and pliable again. Okay, now I think this is going to be a little bit big for our bear's head, a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is just roll a sausage, that's it, and I'm just going to take off probably a quarter. So you can work out your quarter, so by dividing it in half and then dividing in two again, I'm going to take away a quarter and I'm going to work with three quarters of the paste. So, keep rolling in your hands until you've got a nice smooth ball again. And I think teddy bear's heads are round, so we're going to try and get it as round as we can. Okay, now what I want to do before we pop him on is I'm just going to work out where his nose, his mouth and his eyes are going to go. Now his eyes are going to go either side of his nose, so just using the tip of my finger, make a tiny indent just to guide where we're going to go with that. Now I'm cupping the head in my hand because what we don't want is to put it flat because then he'll have a flat back to his head, okay? Now, not going to put the mouth in at this point, but what I am going to do is just mark where... I want the mouth to go. Okay, so we've got a little line and two dimples for where the eyes are going to go. Okay, now I'm going to pop this on here. So we want to go central in the base of our ball, our potato, whatever you want to call it. So line it up and then give it a press. Okay, there's his little eyes and his little mouth is under there. Now, I'm going to add my stitch into his head now. Just going to run from the end of his nose up and round the back of his head. Okay. And then on the sides of his head, coming back up to that centre line. So from the markings on his arms, up the side of his head, Back up to that centre line. Now it doesn't matter if it doesn't meet. He's a teddy. He's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to keep this piece for ears. And then I want a piece of the pale brown again for his nose. 
Now we don't need a lot, so if I half, quarter, quarter, that's still going to be too big. So that was a quarter of the brown paste that was remaining and then cut in half again. Okay. Malteser size may be a little bit less than a Malteser. It's all a Malteser size. It might still be too big, so we'll see. So we've rolled it into a ball again. And this time I'm going to pinch between my thumb and forefinger. And it makes a little triangle. And then I'm just going to finish that triangle shape by pressing the top and the two sides. Okay, I want just a little triangle. Okay, now that's too thick. It's going to protrude from his face too far. So what I'm going to do is just half that. We will lose a little bit of the shape, but not all of it. So you just literally pop in that triangle shape back again. Give it a little press. Okay, and there we are. Teddy bear sort of no shape. So we're going to flip that over. Take a tiny bit of water. And I mean tiny because we don't want it sliding off his face. So just take back the excess whilst keeping it between your fingers to keep the triangle shape. Okay, and then we're going to pop that just underneath the two dimples we made for his eyes. And we're going to press it and shape it down to the line that I made for the mouth. Okay, just going to bring that down. And what we're doing turn it round so you can see, is just smoothing the bottom half of that triangle towards the line that I made for the mouth whilst trying to keep it sort of triangular shaped. Okay, and I'm just supporting the back of the head as I'm pressing because I don't want to push the head off the body. All right, so we're just bringing that down. So the top is protruding, but the base is smoothed down, okay? There you go, one teddy bear nose. And then we're just going to do the same thing, bring it back to the eyes so we're not losing our teddy nose. Okay, if you find that you've pushed your model back, simple, just give him a little gentle push forward again. You can use the finger holes that you've made for the eyes just to be where you press so that you're not leaving extra marks into him. All right, yay, we have a little nose. Now what we're going to do is just tilt teddy back in your hand again so that you've got him and where our line was for our mouth here just going to use the cocktail stick and make a bit of a smile like that and then we're going to come into the center of the nose okay like that there we go so a nice clean line try not to drag and then just bring it up into the center of our nose. If you move the nose too much and you're happy, just pinch it all back down, press it back down. But like I say, he's your teddy, he's a cutie. He can be exactly how you like. All right. So the next thing he's going to need are some ears because teddy bears have fluffy, fluffy ears. Okay. Because I, I tilted him and moved him, I'm just going to position him back. You want the weight of the head central over the body. If he starts to tilt, backwards just bring all that weight forward again just a gentle push so we've got excess brown here so take a piece of that no precise measurements required um, give it a good roll make it soft again and then you can work out what size you want his ears to be now I wouldn't go too big purely because of the weight of them you haven't got supports inside the ears holding them on so let's move all of the bits Give that a roll. You can roll on the surface as a sausage, but just remember to use your palm so as you don't get fingerprints. Now, I am going to half that, and then I'm going to quarter that. And that way you guarantee you've got two similar size pieces of paste. So we're going to give it a little roll. And we're going to keep it round this time. We're not going to form a sausage. But what we're going to do is take one of our fingers, doesn't matter which one, and just press into the paste leaving a nice high ridge see i've only pressed on one side you've got that beautiful ridge teddy bear ear shape like that okay hoping you can see that wide at one end in at the other 
Okay, we're going to do exactly the same thing with the other one. Give it a good knead, good mix. Give it a good roll in your hands until you're a lovely circle. My paste is a little bit dry. Let's give it a bit of a work first. There we go. Roll it in my hand until we've got a lovely circle, not an egg. Here we are. We're going to do exactly the same thing again. So we're only pressing on one half of the paste. And we're pre oh, um, made it very hot and sticky. Bear with me. Just press that back down. That doesn't matter because we're going to have a piece of the lighter colour in there. Now, if you find that it's too sticky to get off, just very carefully use your knife. Not if you're a child. Peel it off and do it again if you're working with children. So what you should have are two little round ears with thin ends on one side and big fat ridges on the other. I'm just going to clean my hands because obviously I'm getting hot and sticky. Okay, so then we're going to take a tiny bit of the light brown paste. So one of the pieces we had earlier, I'm going to cut into two and then cut into again. So I've got two vaguely even pieces. Now these are more pea size, I would say. This is a pea size piece. Yeah, it's a pea size piece. Now I'm going to roll this into a pill shape. Bit like the shape the icing was wrapped and I'm going to divide that in two again because what we don't want to do is add too much weight to the ears but we do want to add the colour to the ears that's perfect a tiny little pea and then we're going to pop that into the centre of the impression that we've made in those little ears okay like that come on go now I haven't added any water because we're actually going to push down and push that into the impression in the ear. Exactly the same way as we made the impression, we're just going to pop that little circle flat inside that hole. Okay, and you can shape it, squish it a bit. Try not to do what I've just done and, and change the shape of your ears. Do it between thumb and a forefinger if it's easier. Just pick it up, give it a pinch, but you're trying to keep this nice high ridge on the back okay now what I'm going to do is in on the flat side that we've got I'm literally going to straighten off one part of it it's a tiny slither if you look just where the highest point is you're going exactly opposite that and just taking it off to make a little flat edge I'm going to take a tiny piece of water and just pop it on either side Take some back if you think you've got too much. Okay, and then we're going to take an ear and we're just going to pop it on, pressing gently. There we are, that's one. Comes the other one on the flat edge. It's the flat edge that we're placing against the head. Okay, here we go. Now what you can do, and you can use um, your excess kebab skewer if you want to and just press from the, the, the paler icing into the head a little bit as if you'd got an open ear. Okay, and that will just help adhere the ear to the head. Okay, there we go. Little fluffy open ears. There we are. Okay, lovely. So now... We've got paws, we've got legs, ears, nose. One more thing we're going to do in a minute is actually colour the base of his feet and the inside of his paws. But before I do that, actually no, I'll do that now. Let's do that. So we've got the excess that we had. We want pea-sized pieces again. So I'm going to do that and see if that's too big. Now obviously I haven't put my paste back in the bag. It's starting to get quite dry. So I need to work it a little bit. Right, I think that's probably too big, but we'll see. That's one. Might do the soles of his feet. But we, for his hands, definitely, we want to work a little bit smaller than that. Now, I can't give you exact measurements because your bear may come out slightly bigger than mine. He may make his legs a different size and different shape. So this is just the playing bit. This is the fun bit. Okay, we're going to press our ball 
into the center of his foot. Now you need to make sure you're not sticking. So put the sticky side against his foot. Now put your hand, turn him around, put your hand right against his bottom, a nice curve to give you something. I'm using my little finger just to stop his leg being pushed backwards into his body. And very gently, you're just going to keep pressing until you've got a full circle on there, like that. And make sure you haven't pushed his leg in too far. Just press it, smooth it against the dark brown as if it was there from the beginning. Okay, there we are. Let's turn him around so you can see one sole of the foot. Now you can use your cocktail stick and do a similar thing to the hands if you want. You can mark in some toes, just pressing the tip of your cocktail stick in and just mark a couple of toes. Same thing again, I'm going to turn my bear, I'm going to use this part of my hand just to support his back and his legs. I'm going to make a perfect little ball, it doesn't have to be perfect, pop it in the centre of his foot, there you go, and I've got the sticky side obviously. Now, you can apply a tiny bit of water. I think I'm actually going to have to on this one. This one's not sticking. Just keep it going until it tacks. Too much water on the foot. Did you see that sliding? That's what happens when you use too much water and it's I'm that hot that it's stuck to me. Okay, so let's try that again. There we are. In the centre of the foot. Dry hand. Make sure it's dry, not too sticky. And just press very gently keep pressing going round and round and round to keep it in the center just patting very gently until you get to the edge and then you're patting onto the dark brown just to smooth it against his foot we're going to take our cocktail stick and we're going to make two lines again one two and we've got two toes there we are how about that Oh, he's just too cute for words. Now, we're going to need a little bit less for the pores of his hands. So, if you can see, I'm taking probably five mils of the brown. And I'm going to divide that in two. And I honestly think that's still going to be too much. We'll see. So, just give it a knead. Tiny little piece. Then pop it in and give it a roll. Now, we might that might be enough actually to do two. So, if we... Tic tac shape that one, pop it down, and then cut that one in half. I think will be sort of the right size. Can you see the sort of size of the balls we're looking at here? They're like petit pois size. So, again, we're going to take our ball, tiny, tiny bit of water, just paint it on the inside of the pore, put a little ball in. Hopefully it releases from my finger this time. And just by supporting the back of the arm, pat again, just like we did for the feet. Just keep patting that little ball in. Same on the other side. Just oh, use the wrong hand. Tiny bit of water just to make it tacky. Take your ball, place it on the inside of the, the little curved palm we made. And just keep pressing until we've got a nice little circle I'm using my finger to support the back of the palm so we don't lose the shape or push the arm off the body here we are there oh so cute right i'm going to put all these excess pieces away because we're not going to use that color anymore i'm going to pop these in my bag these bits can be used up on anything else you can make extra animals you can make a little tiny bear to go with him baby bear so this time I'm going to get out the white. Now I've given you a tiny, tiny piece of white. You're not going to need all of this even. I've given you this much in case something went wrong and you needed to redo the eyes or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we're only going to take a tiny piece of this. So again, we're going to roll it into a ball and then a sausage. And we're going to take, let's do that's two, dividing two, dividing four. Yeah, we're going to take a quarter. And then we're going to divide that in two again to give us the two eyes. Okay, so petit pois size again. 
small, slightly smaller than a pea. You know those beautiful posh peas. Right, that's one. Excuse my tummy. That's two. Okay, that's the size of our eyes. Now we know where we wanted them to go. Make sure you're still happy that they're going to go there. Use your little finger and just literally a tiny bit of water until we feel the sticky. Yep. Obviously then wipe your sticky because otherwise it's going to stick to that. So we're going right in the centre with our little ball and we're going to literally rest our fingers that way or you can turn it and cup it with the back of your head because again we don't want to push the head off the body and we're just going to press in the centre of that ball just going to keep pressing until it disappears and looks like it's flat in our head and that was the purpose of making the little holes first because it gives it somewhere to go so same again just cupping the back of the head so it stays forward centre of your white ball just keep pressing until it's in. Lovely. See how they're nearly flush with the head? They're not googly eyes. Okay, now we're going to take our black. And this is an even tinier piece because basically all you need it for is the pupils of the eyes and the nose. You know, if I could get into it, that would be a wondrous thing. I can't. Let's have a go at ripping it. No, I'm still not going anywhere. Bear with me. Ah, here we go. Black paste. Now, doing the black paste last is a very sensible thing because I'm just going to squeeze some of that out of there. It marks your fingers straight away. It's a very colour saturated paste, obviously, to get it as black as it is. If you ever try to make it at home, you'll never get black, you'll get grey, or you'll get paste that you can't possibly work with. So, I'm going to do the nose first. Okay, see what I mean? I'm already black. I'm going to cut that in half and in half again. So I'm taking a quarter of that paste. I'm going to roll it into a tiny ball and it is a diddly little ball look. And then what I'm going to do is exactly the same way we shaped this part of his nose is I'm going to pinch it and press it to make the triangle shape. Can you see? And then I'm going to square the edges, the other sides off. So now, what you should have is a lovely little triangle. You see? I'm going to take a tiny bit of water and just place that on the front of his nose, right at the highest point. And then I'm going to get the cling film off my finger, pick it up if I can carefully. It's cling film, excuse me. There we go. That's the time. Pick it up gently. Make sure that it's the shape you want. And then we're just going to literally pop it on the end and give it a press. And make sure that that stays as a lovely little triangle. And then just pat that end down to follow the paler icing that we did. Okay. Now, using the other quarter that we had, I'm going to take half of that again and then cut in half again. Now these are the pupils, so they are tiny. They don't need to be big, but he is a cartoon bear, so they can be a little bit exaggerated. And you can play, you could put eyebrows on him, you could put hair on him, you can do all sorts of things with him, with your excess icing. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Now I've got one bigger than the other there by the looks of it. So I'm just gonna take a tiny piece off that one, do it again. That feels better. Like I say, they don't have to be even. There are googly-eyed bears out there. There we are. We have two pupils. So I am going to take a tiny bit of water again and literally just moist. Press onto the eyes. Now, the reason I'm giving you so much white paste is at this point it can actually go a bit wrong because if... The black slips across the white, it's going to leave a big mark. So all you do is peel the eyes out, put new eyes in, start again. You've got the excess paste to do it with. So I'm going to pick up one of the little eyes on my finger, one of the pupils. I'm going to find where I'd like to put it and I'm going to put it right down low on the white this time. There. Now he comes to life. So pick up on your finger again. Now, the one thing is to get them in the same place. If you don't, 
you will end up with a very googly eye bear, which could be fun. So just make sure you have a look at it from the front. You should be working from the front. It's far easier to do. And there is our little bear. Let me just pop him onto something so that we can... Oh. Now, if while you're working and he gets stuck like that, just use your sharp knife, keep it right against your surface and work underneath him until he comes loose, okay? Here we are, and I'm just going to pop him on there so he stands out a little bit. There's our bear, Teddy Teddy, okay? Beautiful little fellow. And then you can give him a name or you can eat him. We'll keep as long as it's kept dry. Um, thank you very much for buying the cake box in a lesson um, there and have fun doing it.